welcome to exotic astrology ladies and gentlemen and today i will discuss on something which one of my subscribers had mailed me with a question and i felt it was very important to address this question so i'm doing it on a short notice all right so the question is what is the ultimate purpose of all the remedies all the pujas and mantras and sutras and tantras and yagyas and mudras that we do to improve our situation pertaining to some specific planet or in general in life all right so we will discuss about that today so i don't know how much this video will be probably short or maybe very long as usual all right so if you are new, new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there in the description below and yes if you like this video then click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is also interested in knowing about what is the purpose of remedies all right so in the shrimad bhagavatam there is a shloka which says sharama eva hi kevalam the shloka is very long but this is the last line yes so what does it mean sharama eva hi kevalam which means such a waste of time <laughs> which means the bhagavatam says if you do not do the first three sentences then it says the fourth sentence sharama eva hi kevalam now the first three sentences of the shloka simply means that whatever activity you do in this world either you are working in a company or you have your own business or you are studying yes you are a teacher or you are an entrepreneur or you are somebody working in the slums you are cooking or you are a housewife or you are the ceo of a company what whatever it is that you are doing or maybe you are about to get married or you are a celibate living in a monk whatever it is sharama eva hi kevalam it says that all of your activities is simply a waste of time if you do not develop attraction for lord vishnu that is the ultimate purpose of all the scriptures of all the yagyas and tantras and yantras and mudras and pujas that is the ultimate purpose because what happens ultimately why do we do remedies the question is when we say that oh we are doing this remedy for this planet actually we are not doing uh, any remedy for any planet actually the planet is nothing is not going to gain anything from us yes but when we do the remedies what happens is it involves some level of change of transformation of our heart all right what does this mean transformation of heart transformation of heart simply means that when you are doing a particular remedy it should happen that internally you are also changing as a person that should happen ideally the remedy should encompass those steps inside which means that if you are going on doing certain remedies like in india many people do puja for mangalik for mangal dosh people will do puja for pitra dosh yes people will do puja for so many other different things conjunctions yes saturn and rahu shrapit yoga which is known in astrology so people will do remedies for that and so many other things people do and people ask me also can you suggest anything to do in this regard but all of these remedies which we do should involve some level of transformation of heart which means that if we are doing any remedy for jupiter irrespective of whatever remedy it is chanting mantras for vyas dev or for lord shiva like the mamant mitunjay mantra yes or the rishi mantras which we do for vyas dev and then so many other avatar mantras are there yes vaman vaman avatar mantras we do for uh, jupiter but ap- along with that we might also do remedies like fasting on thursdays especially for women who are uh, wanting to get married in the near future because jupiter is the significator of the husband in vedic astrology for women so we might do all those things along with the mantras and all the remedies and fasting etc yes but apart from that we also have to do certain things like we have to go and pay respects to the brahmins yes brahmin doesn't mean one who is born in a goswami or bharadwaj or sharma family yes those are not brahmins they may be if they are following the codes of the scriptures as it is entitled in the gita yes chatur varnyam maya system guna karma vibhagasha yes lord krishna says i have created this varna system on the basis of guna and karma which means 
uh, guna is qualities and karma means actions yes so if somebody is born in a so called brahmin family and is going on doing nonsense then that person is not a brahmin technically now people will not like to hear this but it's my duty to say what is there in the scriptures irrespective of people uh, if they like it or they don't okay so uh, there is a transformation of heart which has to happen so suppose there are conjunctions like jupiter and rahu in your chart yes or jupiter afflicted by saturn then this means that in past lifetimes we have insulted some great spiritual personality should i repeat we have insulted somebody yes so now the repercussions are coming and that will come we can't stop it but when we are doing the mantras and all the other fasting and all the other remedies along with that we have to make sure that we develop a healthy healthy attitude towards uh, the spiritual personalities we try to go and serve them whenever is possible yes as shrimad bhagavatam says Uh, Rishabdev speaks to the best of his sons Bharat Maharaj in the fifth canto I guess yes fifth canto it's there that mahat sevanam api dwara vimukteshu that that the doors to liberation vimukteshu open when uh, we go and serve the great souls yes mahatma as lord krishna says in the gita महात्मानस्तु मां पार्थ दैवी प्रकृतिमाश्रितम भजंती अन्य मनसो ज्ञाता भूतादिम महात्मानस्तु मां पार्थ ओ पार्थ हु आर दि महात्मा महात्मानस्तु मां पार्थ दैवी प्रकृतिमाश्रितम वन हु टेक्स शेल्टर इन माई डिवाइन एनर्जी माई स्पिरिचुअल पोटेन्सीज भजंती अन्य मनसो एंड नोइंग दैट ही chants my glories throughout the entire universe gyatva bhutadi mavyaya yes he knows me to be the cause of all causes and the end of it all so lord krishna says this to arjuna in this context so it means that we might have offended or insulted or delineated or denigrated or neglected some great personality if jupiter is afflicted in the chart so only doing mantras will not help only doing fasting on thursdays will not help yes only doing daan on thursdays will not help some people think that oh just do charity all problems will vanish that's total nonsense anybody who is saying like that that just by doing charity all your problems will vanish <laughs> that person doesn't know anything about astrology that person doesn't know anything about the vedas that person does not know anything about the scriptures doing that is one of the procedures but imagine the situation if a person a man has gone and raped a woman yes nowadays there are many stories of rape which is coming from india and so many other places but imagine now that same person goes and gives a million dollars in charity to some woman who is in need so will the government say oh no problem you can go on raping women na we you but just make sure you give some donation no that's not going to solve the problem so Uh, some uh, rich people's uh, message me mail me sometimes money is not a problem my jupiter is afflicted can i go and give a million dollars donation to this place to that place i'm saying you might do it you can do it if you have money that will give you good results in the future but that doesn't mean that that will counter the sin which you did yes so that will only happen if you personally go and serve brahmins you uh beg forgiveness from them you ask them to bless you yes mahat sevanam api dwar vimukteshu only by their personal blessings all the afflictions to jupiter in the chart can be controlled otherwise you go on chanting a million mantras it is not going to give you any result nothing works in kali yuga <laughs> as one of my jyotish gurus when i was talking to him recently he was telling me that nothing works in kali yuga <laughs> Well, there's a bad news, yes, but the good news is it still can work somehow. How does it work? If we go and personally render service, yes, to the uh, elevated personalities, then that works. And this is not only a remedy for Jupiter; this is a remedy for Sun also. So, in this, what I meant to say is there is a transformation of heart, yes, which is involved. So, when you are going on going and serving somebody, suppose your moon is afflicted, then you might do the remedies which I have suggested in the. Uh, moon remedies video 10 remedies i have suggested you can always do that but uh, within that the most important remedy is that you try to focus your mind spiritually on lord vishnu that is the most important remedy because the mind cannot be calmed down by any other means yes so for moon the most important uh, procedure to calm the mind is that we 
focus our mind uh, unanimously on god only then the mind will be peaceful yes same is for the son lord ram perfect example so reading the scriptures understanding the life of lord ram trying to exemplify him yes trying to uh, follow his ideals in our life that involves a transformation of heart otherwise we can't do it otherwise if we go on donating to government offices now to politicians already they are getting so much <laughs> yes so that is not going to solve the problem yes so the uh, the most important part about remedies is that it should involve a transformation of heart that is the most important purpose of all the remedies and if that is not happening then no remedy is going to work ultimately because as he said nothing works in kali yuga <laughs> so now coming to gemstones well yes you can wear gemstones but as i gave the example you cannot go on raping or molesting or assaulting women and go on giving donations and you cannot also go on wearing gemstones for venus yes or for saturn yes what is the remedy you cannot just go on feeding beggars or all these uh, poor poverty stricken people that is not going to solve the problem people say oh donate to the poor people saturn will be very happy that is true but that <laughs> saturn is also a living entity right so saturn also knows how when and how you are trying to take the easy way out so donating to the poor is fantastic a remedy for saturn but that doesn't solve the problem yes and going on donating on saturdays that will also not solve the problem the purpose of remedies of saturn is not to make you go and donate on saturdays that for god's sake for heaven's sake that is not the purpose of the remedy the purpose of the remedy is that you become serious in life yes you become disciplined increase the mode of sattva guna in your life the mode of goodness increase discipline in your life then automatically other remedies will work yes if you are going um, chanting mantras om shani charaya nama om this nama om that nama no it's not going to work you have to bring the karaka tatvas of the planet first that is the most important thing yes otherwise nothing is going to help nothing works in kali yuga <laughs> which means that things will only work if you do it in the proper consciousness yes so understand the purpose of remedies the purpose of remedies is like uh, recently i was asked another question that oh the remedies are so costly na Th- these pandits are only snatching money from us they are stealing our money well that is true unfortunately in some areas uh, many places uh, people get cheated there's no denial of that fact but you have to understand one thing that if if your lifestyle is not proper if you are if you are internally not changing as a person yes many people do remedies for mangal dos and they are continuing on eating meat and for heaven's sake people think that the remedies are going to work oh my god you are in such a illusion if you are going on eating meat and if you think that you are doing puja for mang- mangal dosh suppose your mars is in first second fourth seventh eighth and twelfth yes these are the houses where they say that uh, you are manglik that is what it is told but if you think that by not marrying till the age of 28 your mass will come down they say na that manglik people should not marry till 28 or by going on giving donation to people on tuesdays your mangal dosh will be finished or by uh, chanting uh, mantras for nursing dev or hanuman your mangal dosh will be finished without uh, abstaining from violence like eating meat you are simply in illusion <laughs> you are in the clouds you are in the la la land see scriptures also know oh, uh, should i say this in hindi na hum jitna soch sakte hai uske usse bahut aage sochte hai rishis <laughs> so no remedy is going to work unless we have a transformation of heart so if you have a afflicted mars if you have a mars which is debilitated yes or you have manglik dosh all these problems if you, if you have then the first thing you have to make sure is you abstain from violence yes and how do you do that you try to shift to a vegetarian diet yes because as scriptures say that we have not given life to anybody so we do not have the right to take life yes so the transformation of heart has to happen we have to understand that i will i, I don't like if people come and harm me do you like it suppose i come and uh, slap you you will not like it right let's be honest here don't pretend to be a yogi i am not at least <laughs> so 
so if we don't like being insulted being humiliated being beaten or being tormented then what about the animals yes there's a talk of a lot of talk on women protection these days yes everybody is concerned about women but what about the animals we'll speak for them oh we are the superior species right nonsense total sheer nonsense it is so if you are going on indulging in meat yes and then you are going on doing remedies for debilitated mars or afflicted mars and you are in a illusion that those things are going to work then well i'm sorry your heart is not getting transformed because just by going and giving 50 rupees to somebody on tuesday it is not changing your heart the change of heart will happen when you understand that i should not inflict violence to, uh, pain to others yes and that happens when you become non violent you use violence whenever it is necessary suppose you are a husband and some gunda or some mawali or whatever you call na, that some dacoit is attacking your wife yes they are trying to abuse her or molest her then don't become non violent then you use mars wherever it is required yes somebody is trying to snatch your money then you protect yourself atmaraksha self defense that is allowed that is what mars is all about but if you are showing your superiority over the animal race and you are going on killing animals or you are going on harming other people it is not going to work. similarly for mercury the biggest transformation of heart is you be transparent in your financial dealings yes and you uh, you don't cheat people yes financially be very 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 transparent and stop gossiping <laughs> or stop meeting people who are gossiping so i have a video on gossip so just go to my channel and type g o s s i p so you will find videos there one or two videos i have made so i also have a video four steps to stop gossiping or something like that i guess i made it recently so if you think that you are going on gossiping and you will do money remedies uh, for kuber or for lakshmi or for your debilitated mercury or your afflicted mercury i'm sorry it's not going to work always remember nothing works in kali yuga <laughs> it will only work if your heart is getting transformed okay uh, then which planet is remaining <laughs> so many planets venus 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 yes yes let's talk of venus the most talked planet in kali yuga <laughs> okay so regarding venus if we are going on doing remedies yes for combust venus for afflicted venus for debilitated venus and we are going on disrespecting the opposite sex and this especially i am telling to ladies because uh, they say that uh, men are insulting women but to be very honest i mean maybe i am uh, judgmental here or you whatever you call me i would accept that as a badge of honor but in my experience i have seen the amount of criticism ladies do about other ladies is phenomenal <laughs> i mean you are becoming the enemy of your own what you say gender or species so stop insulting other ladies this is for all men and for all women i am saying yes stop insulting them stop discussing about who is having an affair with whom that is none of your business that's their life man for god's sake but the problem is you have so much free time that you have nothing to do so that is why you keep discussing on unnecessary useless rubbish of this world <coughs> how in the universe is who having an affair with whom uh, is going to change your life yes and preserving your semen not wasting it by watching <coughs> pornography or by doing illicit sex yes so if you think that you will fast on fridays and you will go and watch go and watching pornography and recklessly lose your semen from your body yes and your venus will improve well i'm sorry nothing nothing works in kali yuga <laughs> <laughs> then that rule will apply to you okay so preserve your semen preserving soma is very important yes for our spiritual progress don't just waste it and then we can do other remedies for venus then we can go on chanting this mantra om himakundam nalabham daityanam paramam gurum sarva shastra parvaktaram bhargavam pranamamya ham we can go on chanting mantras we can go on chanting mantras for kamdev <laughs> i have also made a video on kama sutra please watch it okay so only then these remedies will work yes worshiping lakshmi for a good well placed venus we're worshiping durga for a badly placed venus yes worshiping 
the vishnu avatar is concerned so the transformation of heart is most important so that is the purpose of the remedy that you respect other women and <coughs> you do not insult them and you preserve your own semen which is there in your body don't don't just waste it yes so unless that is happening venus remedies will give you this effect <laughs> zero it's not going to help you otherwise see there are in india so many people are there there are millions of people yes chanting millions of mantras why nothing happens why have you seen people telling oh i did this mantra that mantra this puja that puja nothing happened why 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 is it happening the scriptures are giving wrong mantras no it's not like that the main reason is your transformation of heart is not happening so take this example suppose you have an afflicted mars or a debilitated mars or whatever suppose some problem is there with your mars okay then you do all the remedies but you don't give up violence then what happens suppose your all your sins are finished but you are committing new sin so then again next life your mars will be in debility yes again your venus will be in debility again you you end up insulting some great personality so your jupiter or sun will go yes again you end up insulting uh maybe your mother so your moon is gone yes again you keep continuing to gossip then what happens your mercury is finished again so next life oh mercury is in pisces look it's debilitated remedies don't work right all these sages and saints they are useless people they are uh, they are all uh, thugs who are writing things which don't know yes i know people who have insulted the sages also like this that there's a person who told me that he did mantras for 12 years roughly and he didn't see any result he said all these sages are thugs now they they don't know anything they are just fooling people and then i asked him a simple question what about your lifestyle it's exactly the same so zero transformation so congratulations nothing works in kaliyuga <laughs> so the answer to the question is very simple if you want remedies to work then you have to keep in mind the ultimate purpose of the remedy okay so change of lifestyle change of the heart and internal transformation yes that is the ultimate purpose of the remedy because then that prohibits you from doing the sin the next time yes for saturn uh, take the example of saturn don't insult people who are poverty stricken or people who are uh, not very rich yes do your duty properly have a discipline in life stay away from things like rahu alcohol smoking drinking pornography prostitution gambling yes especially all the four regulative principles uh, please watch those three videos which i made solutions to planets in dustanas the 6th house the 8th house and the 12th house these three are very important if you are thinking to do, do remedies pertaining to any planet all right so that is what i wanted to say in this video uh, ultimate purpose of all remedies and when remedies work and when remedies don't work so that is it and when we transform our lives internally then we become spiritually more elevated and then as the shrimad bhagavatam says the ultimate purpose of all activities is that we develop attraction for lord vishnu and that will eventually happen that will gradually happen that will take a li lifetime and that's a very long process but that's a very far sighted goal which we always uh, need to keep in mind but at least in the mundane material realm the answer is that change of our heart transformation of our habits transformation of our lifestyle transformation of our inner thought process yes so if a person has done something to a lady he has to understand that that is not good so i have to stop doing it yes not that i go on donating to uh other ladies who are in need yes on fridays in the hora of venus have you seen people oh friday venus hora i will go and donate to women they think their venus problems will be vanished oh you are in such a illusion yes remember all this nothing works in kaliyuga <laughs> oh my god now people will write in the comments look he's a con he's a rascal he's a idiot uh, he's fooling others yes maybe he wants money for consultations maybe he wants money for readings yes maybe he's doing some secret puja yes so let me declare i have no secret puja <laughs> there's no puja no gemstone whoever has taken consultation from me till date i just suggest them two things first is mantras and the second is lifestyle changes and i tell them directly in their face if you are not ready to change your lifestyle forget about remedies remember nothing works in kaliyuga should i remember uh, repeat nothing works in kaliyuga once again nothing works in kaliyuga all right so that is it from my side change your habits change your lifestyle improve sattva guna in your life increase the mode of goodness and only by that 
any remedy which you are doing for any planet it is going to work okay otherwise nothing dash 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 <laughs> okay so i am anticipating the comments oh you are creating fear you are creating terror no, delete this video delete that video don't do upload such videos i'll get mails now so yes i am welcoming them all okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you with another video